Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to a quick play. And as I did an outrun video yesterday, I thought I'd play through some outruns. I thought I'd start with battle outrun on the master system. Why the hell not? Now this was a European only release, strangely, in 1989. I know the master system was much bigger in Europe, so it, it kind of makes sense. But I think it's the only outrun game which wasn't available in North America and Japan and it's quite a strange game. It's like Chase HQ. You have to track down criminals and ram them off the road Strangely Chase HQ 2 which came out on the Mega Drive uh, a couple of years later not to be confused with a special criminal investigation was Only available in Japan and North America and not Europe. It's very all very confusing all this but this is yeah, it's an interesting game, released in 1989. It came out about the same time as Chase HQ did on the Master System, and they were often advertised together, which is strange. Anyway, here's the uh, target car. There's a bloke, it looks like his eyes are popping out. And you get to choose the music, like you do in classic outrun games. I'm not sure what that is, it's like a fax coming out of a windscreen. And off we go with Strangely jolly music. It sounds like we should be watching Kirby's Dream Adventure or something. There's not much going on in this game. We've got some uh, Volkswagen Beetle lookalike cars, something there. There's not much. Whoa, there's oil all over the bloody road! Careless bastard, put that there! There's not much stuff going on at the side of the road. We haven't. No, it's just quite plain. We've got a city in the background. We've got some signs which tell you to turn left well into the corner. That's helpful. All these cars on the road are the same and they are completely out to smash me off the road. What kind of hazardous drivers are we... What? This road is terrible! Why are all these jumps everywhere and obstacles? I would not be driving a Ferrari F40 down this road. Oh, hello. Come in. <laughs> Doesn't look a bit dodgy at all, does it? A truck comes in front of you, tells you to come in. Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, you can tune up your car here. You can buy body parts on this Knight Rider style truck. I've got three thousand. I will buy some tires. I should have bought the three thousand tires, shouldn't I? Uh, I will buy an engine upgrade. Yep. Yeah. Oh, nitro. Didn't see that. Anyway, that will do. Let's get off this godforsaken truck and carry on. I'm not sure that seems to have made things a little faster, possibly. It's hard to tell. It's, mu it's music. <laughs> Dear God. All right, let me just... I'm going to try and concentrate and see how um, how well I can do on this game. It's What the hell is this, man? This is... This is a public road! There's an explanation marks at the side of the road to tell you that there's hazards on the road. Why don't you just remove the hazards from the road rather than putting up permanent signs? Anyway, I don't know what criminal I'm trying to catch. I don't know what criminal you would be trying to catch in a Ferrari F40. I would probably take a more sedate, a, more, a, more, a you know, cheaper car if I was going to smash criminals off the road. Yeah, Chase HQ2 for the Mega Drive. Also, you start in a Ferrari F40, which is... Curious. Oh come on, man! All right, let's do some. There is, this is this is a one weird game. There are obstacles galore, and these cars are—they must be working for the criminal because they are seriously trying to look at them. They, they obviously don't use their mirrors. Well, their mirrors are severely broken. Objects in mirror may appear closer than they appear. Yeah, apparently so. A bit too close. Look at this, it's so hard to avoid this car. I have to leave the track. Oh my god. <laughs> this is absolutely disturbing. I was supposed to be catching a criminal. Oh, why haven't I got a siren on my car? No one would believe you were a police anyway if you had a siren on a Ferrari F40. Um, a Ferrari F40 was all the rage, wasn't it, in the early 90s? It was like the sports car. It was like the fastest car, production car in the world. And. It was always the top trump everyone wanted in the top trump packs. Oh, there he is. Is that him? That must be him. 
<laughs> if you've ever played Chase HQ on the Master System, this isn't <laughs> much different in terms of playability. Although you can seem to catch up the baddie a bit quicker. There's not much variation in the road, is it? It's just very kind of... We've got turns left, turns right. I don't know if that's how roads work. But there's nothing to uh, entertain you. And how come he can drive through those other cars? No problem. And how can he outpace a Ferrari F40 so easily? And, and why would you give this to Ferrari F40? Even if you were chasing a criminal, you'd probably be like, no, I'm, I wouldn't I wouldn't smash him with my plastic bonnet thing. So it might um, cause irreparable damage on this multi thousand pounds car. How much were Ferrari F40s? Several hundred thousand. It's not the sort of car you want to take out smashing other people off the road in, is it? Right. Sideswipe. Oh, yes. He's almost dead. We've got the life bar in the top left-hand corner. He is going down on this occasion. Come on, man. Hey. Oh, he is dead. Look how small my F40 looks compared to his car now. The flickering mess of a car. Darn it. I never thought it possible that anyone could catch me. I'm not as good as I used to be. There's a song there somewhere, I'm sure. Well, there we go. That was level one of Battle Outrun. It's a very strange concept, isn't it? Outrun is such a relaxing game. It looks... The logo looks relaxing. This is anything but relaxing. This is the most tense and frustrating game. Well, he looks like a dog. He looks like a dog. Who <laughs> is that guy? I don't want to chase him. Well, let's try some different music. Whatever that is. Again, facts coming out. Of oh, this sounds almost heroic. This sounds like music which used to be on Daily Thompson's Decathlon. Look at the background here. We've got a little jolly house in the background. This, is, this, this looks more like an outrun level, more like, more like the ocean level on outrun. But we've got these ferocious... This is such a weird concept. No, 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 not a weird concept, because Chase HQ is a great concept. It's such a weird implementation of a concept, a blatant copy of an already established concept, and it doesn't... <laughs> oh, God. And it's so hard to have any form of skillful driving because those other cars uh, go out of their way to knock into you. At times, I know I'm not playing as well as perhaps an average player should be playing, but it's bloody hard to avoid them. What happened there? They just flew off at warp speed. Did they hit their warp drive? Oh, oh, oh we've got my little truck again. Alright then, hello mate, what can I buy this time? Nitros, please. Thanks so much. And I'll also have a chassis, please. Thank you, Marlene. Right, let's go. How do I use Nitro? How about probably be a button too, wouldn't it? Let's try it. No, it's not. Oh, don't tell me I have to use pause on the master system. No, that just pauses. How do I use Nitro? Not button 2, apparently. Alright. Uh, oh up. Maybe if I press down. Up, down. Pressing up seems to make my tyres squeal for no apparent reason. Don't, why is that? Why? What the hell is going on? Why is there so much oil on the track as well? It's still there. Alright, okay. I don't know how to use nitro. I think it's just... Does it just generally run down as you're driving? That's a strange nitro, isn't it? It just depreciates as you're going along. It's the worst nitro ever. Alright, here we go. We are on track to absolutely blast this guy off the road. Yeah, oh yeah, we are rocking now. Oh yeah. That nitro has actually probably helped my driving skills. That gunshot wounds improved your driving skills. 
10 points if you can name the film. Oh, I'm, I've got some... I think, okay, so I think pressing up. Okay, so that strange sound I'm pressing up is my nitro. It feels more like it's slowing me down rather than nitroing me. There it is. Oh, you are going down, boy. And your Jeep, which is clearly much stronger than my F40 and would make me a write-off, certainly, within a few seconds. Now, I get a lot of time in this. Look, I've still got 70, 69 seconds. And... It seems very easy, even with all these cars out to take you down. It's it's not that much of a challenge, particularly. Why didn't you use button two for nitro? It didn't seem to do much else. God damn it, man! Take that army jeep down. This is not the best car. This is not the most suitable car for this operation. Whoever, whoever set this. Why Why don't we just try arresting someone? Why don't we try pulling them over normally? We haven't even got a siren. We've just gone straight into smashing them off the road. At least in Chase HQ, you have a siren. You like, you give, you're giving the bloke opportunity to pull over and give himself up in this. It's just a sports car driving and smashing into someone. If I was him, I probably wouldn't stop either with this approach. Because I certainly wouldn't think that the police have got themselves an F40. I think it was a nutcase trying to write off a car he'd just stolen, probably trying to kill me. Couple more hits and he is down. Uh, almost got him. Almost got him. Oh. Oh, oh, what happened there? Right, so I didn't catch him because apparently I, I had to stop for two seconds and game over, he got away. So here we go, that is the end of my Outrun, Battle Outrun experience. Anyway, um, thanks for watching this quick play. I'm hoping to play some more Outrun games during the week. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching and goodbye.